Here's an update for the British Columbia 2024 election. So earlier this week, there was a TV debate held with the three leaders of the three main political parties. It was hosted by our good friend from CKNW, Mike Smith. So I want to zero in when they were talking about firearms and gun control, hunters and sports shooters. John Rustad, the leader of the BC Conservative Party, said that he was going to come in alignment with the philosophy of Alberta and Saskatchewan and not dedicate provincial resources to help the federal government come into the province and confiscate guns from legal gun owners under the previous gun control bills. In response, Dave Ebby, leader of the BC NDP party, said that legal firearms owners in BC were small and insignificant. And if you owned a handgun, you were a gangster. He also said that hunters don't need handguns or semi-automatic firearms. Interestingly enough, I'm about to leave to head to Northern Alberta to go bird hunting with my semi-automatic firearm. Let me stand up for sports shooters. BC has the third highest number of sports shooters in all of Canada. Those sports shooters spend about $500 million a year in the province. Those sports shooters support about 2,700 full-time equivalent jobs. And that creates $163 million in labor income, people's salaries. And those sports shooters, through their spending, generate about $74 million worth of provincial tax revenue. Those dollars help pay for community programs, community events, Sports shooters go into your local stores and help support local businesses. Those tax dollars are helping to support the budgets of the province's infrastructure budgets, social services budget, education budgets, and healthcare budgets. Imagine the cutbacks to those services if there was $74 million less to allocate between all of the critical budgets that are important to British Columbians. What sports shooters do for this province is not insignificant, and they are not the problems with firearms related crimes in BC. So leading up to the election, if firearm ownership and sports shooting is important to you, I challenge you to go read the party platforms and understand exactly what these parties' positions are on firearms ownership in BC, and arm yourself with that knowledge going into the voting booth.